In this video, I will show you how to analyze voltage and current waveforms of inverters controlled by different control techniques. Let's start with the single phase inverters with the square wave control technique. When the first control signal is applied, the equivalent circuit of both inverters is as follows. By assuming all power switches are ideal, we can apply KVL, KCL, and Ohm's law to obtain voltage and current equations of both inverters. According to the output voltage equation, we can see both voltages have a constant amplitude value. We can see the amplitude of the output voltage of the half bridge inverter is half of the supply voltage. On the other hand, the amplitude of the output voltage of the full bridge inverter is similar to the supply voltage. Because of the voltage amplitude, single phase full bridge inverters are commonly utilized in a real application. Regarding the output currents, we can see the wave shape of the currents is following the output voltage waveform with a smaller amplitude. Meanwhile, the supply current of both inverters is equal to the output current. Therefore, we can sketch voltage and current waveforms as follows. The output voltage waveform, the output current waveform, and lastly, the supply current waveform. Next, let's analyze the circuit when the second control signal is applied. By applying Kirchhoff law and Ohm's law in the equivalence circuit, we can obtain these following equations. From the equations, the voltage and current waveforms can be sketched like this. Next, we will compare the output voltage waveform to the wave shape of the control signals. As we can see, the wave shape of the positive half cycle of the output voltages is following the wave shape and the polarity of the control signal. On the other hand, the wave shape of the negative half cycle of the output voltages is still following the wave shape of the control signal except for the polarity sign. As a result, the wave shape of the output voltages are square wave. For other control techniques, we need to apply the same approach to study the operation of both inverters. By applying the quasi-square wave control technique, we can see the output voltage waveforms are also in quasi-square wave AC waveform. 
despite of using different control technique, the amplitude of both voltages are not affected. So same apply for the output current waveform where the wave shape is following the output voltage waveform. And lastly, the supply voltage waveform will look like this. For the unipolar PWM control technique, we can see the output voltage waveforms are still following both control pulses with different polarity.